distinguished dignitaries faculty members the teachers of this industrial school my dear students they are proud parents friends from media brothers and sisters are you all good welcome it's a matter of indeed pride for me to be part of this centenary celebration of this great institution on the auspicious occasion of completing 100 years i extend my warmest greetings and best wishes to all of you i like to extend my deep sense of gratitude to the founders and all the successive management who could see that this institution was nourished properly and grew from a string to a string friends under the years is a significantly long time in the history of an institution founded in 1924 it has seen it has been a witness to various phases of our national history pre independence in the colonial period post independence various phases but i got to know that this institution was founded in 1924 it couldn't escape my notice that that was the period of great national resurgence it was the period the 25 years leading to independence was the period where great people from all over the country wherever they were they seriously started thinking about the nation the future of the nation the fact that we were colonized and the fact that the colonial administration had destroyed our economy had destroyed even our business education system our people and various places in our country they conceived of addressing the core issue of our people and the core issue was education round about that very time that great institutions appeared all over the country and they are still not only surviving but they are thriving and their institutions are excellent so this institution was born with the spirit of national national freedom and strong nationalism this institution which grew subsequently from time to time into middle and high and then high secondary dedicated to the girls students this was a human service to the nation because we know that the nari shakti the power of women is essential for the growth of a family for the growth of growth of a nation and this institution has the blessings of mother was it i'm sure that blessings have kept it in good spirit from time to time
Friends, as this institution has traveled a long distance in different phases of our history, today we are at a very critical moment of our history again. And this institution has recalibrated itself, has reinvented itself to keep itself updated in tune with the time and so is the call of today. Friends, at the time when our country became independent, we were in a bad shape. We were in a bad shape devastated by the colonial administration. Not only that, we were economically destroyed, our education system was destroyed, they had also destroyed our spirituality and culture. And when I heard the motto of this is true, Dharmam Vada and Satyam Vada Dharmam Chara. Loosely translated is speak from that the writing is a very loose translation. No. The soul, the spirit, the essence that you get when you say Satyam Vada Dharmam Chara, which has been the motto of many of the classical institutions all over the country. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, touch to Kamru. People know this Vedic injunction, Satyam Bada Dharma A Speak truth and be rightful, righteous in your conduct. Dharma is not about right thing, right thing is what? Right, righteous conduct about yourself, towards your family, towards your society, towards your nation. This is Dharma. This country was based on Dharma, Dharmic way of life where we live not only for ourselves but for our larger self and larger self is our family extended to society, extended to the rashtra, the nation. So this motto of this institution carries the spirit of nationalism. At the time when we, we became independent, we were in a bad shape. We were the sixth largest economy in the world. Despite all the destruction, India was the sixth largest economy in the world. Unfortunately, due to mismanagement, subsequently, over the six and a half decades, we dipped down to 11 economy level. We became poorer. We became deficient. The countries which were way behind they left us far behind. We kept struggling with our problems without a vision. Today, our country is moving forward. Moving forward with confidence and resolve. In the last 10 years, from the 11th economy, we have grown to the 5th largest economy. And we assume the world knows, the world acknowledges, in the next few years, what follow, we are going to be the third largest economy. Till about a decade ago, the world did not take us seriously. We were the most large, populous country. Everybody was recognizing us. You should do like this. You should manage your economy like this. You should manage your governance like this. Everybody was giving us a Nobody took us seriously. Today, it is the same India. No decision in the world, nothing important in the world can happen without India being on the table. Today we are among the third, three largest science and technology ecosystem in the world. We are measuring the height of the sky and the depth of the ocean. In the last one decade, 25 crore people have been moved out of poverty. Earlier we kept talking about the really had our removed poverty. Poverty kept increasing. It was a political slogan. There was no commitment. Commitment to the poor, commitment to the nation. Today, our nation is moving forward with resolve because we have a leadership who understands Bharat, who understands the 
country and the century. Now in this journey towards our goal, our destiny, that by 2047 when the country celebrates centenary of independence, and you are celebrating centenary of this institution today, when the nation celebrates centenary in 2047, India must be a fully developed, fully self-organized country. And in this journey, our women folk, our Nari Shakti is very, very important. I'm glad and I'm happy that this institution is catering to giving that confidence, enabling our Nari Shakti to play their role, the role that they deserve. For long we have been talking about women empowerment, women empowerment. It is a very patronizing term as so you are going to empower a woman. Everyone knows there that in every house, the strength of the backbone of the house is the women of the house. And there is no reason why the backbone of the nation cannot be the women, they have to be the women. And that is why the whole emphasis is on Nourish. Today, every field, be it science and technology, be it management, be it defense, our women are flying bomber jets today. No area is out of bound for them. It is the time that we give our confidence, give that confidence to our, our girls, the students. And this institution, I would expect, I would expect this institution which has covered 100 years of its journey, very proudly, with keeping heads high, I would like you to think of what your journey is going to be like in the next 25 years. Because the next 25 years are very, very crucial for our whole nation. It is this period when either we have to be at the top, and I'm sure we will be at the top, because there is no alternative. Because then we will be left far behind. We cannot afford to be left far behind. This nation, with so much of strength, so much of capacity, so much of potential, cannot be left behind. So this institution has to set the goal for itself. In the next 25 years, what are you going to do? Friends, I would urge you, I would urge you to, first of all, give courage to our government students to dream large. You know, you are giving them knowledge, you are giving them a skill. But give them the confidence because for long, for very, very long time, they have suffered. They have been deprived of the capacity to think large, to dream large. Now, please, I would urge you, the teachers of this institution, the management of this institution, you will show that the girls passing out of this, the portals of this institution, they must go out with a big dream. Dream to be great scientists, dream to be great technologists, dream to be great leaders of management wherever they are, in every field. Whichever field they choose, they must be the leaders. Because from women empowerment, our Prime Minister has given a call, India has to be women-led. It is the women-led India which will be the India which will be the fully gender and fully gender. Give them the courage, give them the capacity and confidence to do that. And second thing is, introduce them to the latest technology. I know at the school level, you can introduce up to elementary level. I know college to elementary level. Yes, in the higher secondary levels of really you can introduce, expose them to the latest. You have a syllabus which you follow, but I would urge you to think beyond syllabus. Because syllabus in our state, especially a state code, is very low, very low. And I don't like to talk about it. It is not competitive, it is certainly far behind, far below. I can see that in our university, in our colleges. 
because this is reflecting in the academic standard, the scholarship of our students. So, let them be whatever be the most endeavors. Expose the students to the latest in science and technology. Expose them to the artificial intelligence. And expose them to autonomous systems, robotics. Expose them to nano science. Expose them to synthetic biology. Expose them to all this so that at the very elementary level they must know that these are the areas which are open to them and the world is moving fast in those areas. So that when they pass out of this institution, they pass out with a larger vision, not limiting a small vision. A small vision takes you down, it is a larger vision which makes you so the start. Expose them to the latest in science and technology and give them the courage. Today, there are countless options. Today, there are countless options for our women to come forward. Simple, if I tell you, in the last three years, you know, just a few days ago, our country we celebrated, we completed 10 years of PM Jardhan Yojana. This PM Jardhan Yojana is everyone, it's a, it's a marvelous, the whole world is completely mesmerized at the fact of the financial inclusion. 53 crore people have to, I watched it last night with Lula, Lula. I have got bank accounts. I know that half of them are women. In Tamil Nadu, the last three years, and one crore, more than one crore, 20 lakhs people have taken Mudra loan for a starting business. And more than half of them are women. This is not that of You have a large number of opportunities. Explore the opportunities today. You have the time, you have the resources, you have the avenues so that you can fulfill your dream. All that you all that you did is have the confidence and move forward. I would ask the students that you must realize that you are not just one student. You may be here in a classroom or maybe in the school, one in hundreds or thousands. But each one of you are precious. A huge of one of you are precious national asset. You realize that. Grow to your full potential. Dream big. Work hard. Work hard and hard to fulfill your dream. And have self confidence. This way, you will raise your profile, raise yourself, you will raise your family, and in the process, you will also raise the status of the country. By the time you grow, hence 20 years, 25 years from now, when you will be at the helm of affairs, today you are a school student, 20 years down the line, you will be at the top. At the time, you will be proudly saying that I have done this much for my nation, for myself and for my nation. This new sense has to be inculcated. And I will ask the school management and the school teachers to keep that in mind. You are at a historic moment. At a historic moment. It was not, it's not a time like ever before. It's the first time in thousand years, I must say, thousand years of our national history. It's the first time that India, a new India, is rising and rising with the confidence. Let us be partner, let us be a proud partner in this march forward. And all of us, those of us who are retired, we have a big responsibility. Lord, we may have retired. The teachers, those who are retired, you are not retired. You may have retired from the service, but you are not retired, you have a responsibility. You can always contribute to your mentorship. <laughs> Serving teachers, of course, you have a very good time before, and the students. Everyone, let us all be fellow travelers, proud fellow travelers 
in this march towards our destiny to be a fully developed path. And I'm sure 25 years down the line, when this institution will be celebrating 125th anniversary of its foundation, you will say proudly, this was our foundation. So many of our students came out and we are managing the best of the world. Be it industry, be it big laboratories, be it space, be it hostel, anything. You can proudly say that. And in this alumni have a great room. We are having just a seven alumni sitting there. This have a network of enemies. That's the greatest strength. It's a force multiplier. Harness that is strength. It will do not only good to the institution, it will do good to every student studying in this institution. Because the power of network is enormous. So build this alumni network very, very strong. Remain connected, connected with each other. Friends, it's a very, very happy occasion. We are embarking on a new journey from here after, journey towards 125th anniversary, and we are all, we must all be resolved, and I'm sure we will do that. And in this journey towards future, a bright future, I wish you all the very, very best. My best wishes to all of you.